Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, thinks that we need to change our social contract to deal with artificial intelligence. I was very surprised to hear that because it seems like he's contemplating the end of capitalism. The statement from Altman circulated on social media a week ago, but it's actually from last year. Over a long period of time, I still expect that there will be some change required to the social contract, given how powerful we expect this technology to be. Um, I'm not a believer that there won't be any jobs. I think we always find new things to do. But I do think like the whole structure of society itself will you know, be up for some degree of debate and reconfiguration. Before we talk about what Altman might have meant with this, a big thank you to all our supporters, especially our Patreons in Tier 4 and higher. This channel would not be possible without your help. And you too can help us on Patreon or by joining this channel right here on YouTube. Now about Altman and the social contract. The problem that AI can bring and that I believe Altman is referring to is the transition from the current capitalist free market system to what's been called the post-scarcity economy. AI is a problem for profit-oriented capitalism because it can reduce the value of human labor to basically nothing, so there's no profit to make with it anymore. And capitalism deals with human labor like with any other resource. Humans become expendable. Imagine that AIs become truly intelligent. Companies start laying off employees because AIs are cheap Deeper, faster, learn better and don't accidentally hit reply all. The need for human cognitive labor disappears. Hundreds of millions of people are suddenly unemployed. It doesn't take long and AIs become able to control robots on their own. Now it's cheaper for them to do all manual human labor as well. The entire human workforce is now unemployed. But those who own the means of production, as Marx would have said, use resources much more more efficiently now. That's exactly how capitalism is supposed to work. But the only people who can buy goods or services are then those who own the AI companies and those in possession of other resources like land or uranium or very big guns. Basically, if AIs are so much more efficient, then under a capitalist regime, it'd make most sense to wait for humans to die and let robots take over the world. So a few capitalists would become staggeringly rich and then trade among each other, basically ruling the entire planet. But if the AIs are intelligent enough, they'll get rid of their human overlords and that'll be the end of cream cheese. Then again, going by what I know of my fellow humans, they wouldn't just agree to sit down and die. And that brings us to what Altman said. The social contract is a term most closely associated with the 18th century philosopher Jean-Jacques Rousseau. It basically means that if people come together in nations, they give up some freedoms and gain some rights in return. This is the contract. I give up my freedom freedom to trample on your grass, and in return I can sue if you trample on mine. Civilization in a nutshell, it's really all about lawn. Since the 18th century, the awareness that nations are ultimately based on their social contract has somewhat faded, and capitalists normally don't like to remind people that capitalism isn't a law of nature but a choice. So I was rather surprised to hear Altman bring this up. Then again, he too is human. Probably. Realistically, what would happen if unemployment rates skyrocket is that governments would step in to at least ensure basic needs are met. In practice, this would mean they'd nationalize most, if not all, AI companies and come up with a new idea of fairness to distribute the goods. The most popular one of those is currently a universal basic income that should cover everything anyone needs to live from. And beyond that, people would then be free to do whatever their heart desires. This is the post-scarcity economy. Extrapolating from my own experience, this means everyone would develop their own theory of everything. I think it's not very likely, though, because when the AI problem becomes apparent, governments will already be safely in the hands of AI companies. The unemployed will then fight for some parts of land to live on, probably achieve some sort of 
peace with the AI companies and create a separate economy. It will be a two-class society, rich guys with their robot factories who run the world and impoverished normal humans. To me, the best possible future seems to be that humans merge with AI. We'll expand our cognitive and physical functions. AIs will take over the world, but it'll be us. How long will any of this take to play out? We might have super intelligent AI within a few years, but building a robot army requires physically moving around and reconfiguring materials, which will take much longer. So I think we have a decade at least. Not the most cheerful video I've ever done, but I couldn't resist the Sam Altman quote. I've got to say, though, he does a lot of interviews. That's like a new Altman podcast popping up in my feed every nanosecond. It made me wonder whether OpenAI has already achieved artificial general intelligence and Altman himself is GPT-5. That'd explain a lot, wouldn't it? Artificial intelligence, unfortunately, doesn't just help scientists, it also helps scammers. Luckily, there's an easy way to stay safe on the internet by using NordVPN. NordVPN is an app that you install on your phone or laptop. It provides a secure and private connection for your internet browsing and comes with a threat protection that keeps you safe from malware, trackers and malicious ads. It's super convenient because it allows you to pick your location. You see, NordVPN has more than 5,000 servers all over the world, and you can choose one. This allows you to access websites in other countries by using a server located there. I find this especially convenient to get around all the blockages on US pages for visitors from the European Union. If you use our custom link nordvpn.com slash Sabine or the coupon code Sabine, you'll get a better deal and I can really recommend it. I found NordVPN super easy to use. It installs with just a few clicks and hasn't caused me any trouble. You can combine it with a password keeper called NordPass and a secure platform to store and share files called NordLocker. If you get them all together, you'll get a better price and they all have a 30-day money-back guarantee. NordVPN is a high-quality product that works as advertised, and I'm happy to recommend it. If you want to try it out yourself, use our link nordvpn.com slash Sabine or the coupon code Sabine for a special offer. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.